Hello everybody and welcome here, Riccardo Mazzini uh, from Vlog uh, and uh, this time uh, I'm showing you one great project, uh, an Italian project, an Italian war game project that is currently on Kickstarter and it is uh, Warfare Modern Tactical Combat uh, by WBS We Build Smiles. Uh, this is uh, uh, an Italian working company that brought you other uh, other games uh, such as Winged Victory and other and Dark Ages and uh, those who follow my channel and also WBS know that I have made a video in the past, uh, a video tutorial about Dark Ages, which was a, a war game about medieval battles. This is not the Middle Dill Ages, as you might guess, this is modern times, and uh, and we are in uh, in Iraq, and uh, this is War of Modern Tactical Combat, which is a, a modern war game, a war game about uh, uh, modern uh, modern warfare. Uh, with me tonight is one of the designers, we will have also the other designer of the game, but for now we have one of the designers uh, and uh, he is Paolo Charlo of WBS. Uh, ciao, ciao Paolo. Hi, Hello hi, Paolo. Hi, okay, and we're going to uh, to see the system which is which is on Kickstarter, uh, as we speak, the campaign is on, uh, and uh, there are uh, some stretch goals, as always in the campaign. We will speak about the campaign, but the campaign is active, so this is the uh, best opportunity to uh, get this game, of course, at the usual Kickstarter. A Kickstarter price and conditions. But, uh, uh, Paolo, can you describe, give us a general introduction uh, about the game, about uh, what it is, uh, what what kind of modern tactical war game uh, is this? Uh, yeah. its mean, uh, ma main features? So, um, the game is, uh, as you said, is a game that tries to uh, simulate the modern modern combat, modern warfare, um, and um, the base game is uh, basically uh, tries to simulate some of the uh, clashes in uh, Iraq, Afghanistan and Somalia, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, among the stretch goals, uh, the unlocked stretch goals, there's also a set of new maps for trading uh, the, the classic, let's say, European terrain, so we have okay. woods, so, uh, green... Uh, I Okay, grasslands right, uh, yes. and rivers and so yeah. on. Okay, yeah, yeah. if you look at the counters, the standouts, you see on one side there is a great graphic representation. Nice, and yeah. these are, I'd say, pre production graphics, but the final graphics will be more or less this, if yeah. I'm correct. Okay, yeah. and on the other side, the units have a very modern interface. They are very modern looking. Also, the player rates. It's, uh, yeah, it I won't a, say. Yeah. It looks a bit like a video game, if you want. Mm, you know? Yeah. There yeah. Are some yeah, elements yeah. that remind us of uh, of video games, uh, and that was made on purpose because we wanted to uh, to uh, make it appealing also for that kind of uh, of uh, general public. <clears throat> uh, the uh, goal of the Russians is to enter the town uh, mm -hmm. to reckon uh, to reckon the area while the rebels have the goal to destroy eliminate uh, as many russian units as they can let's talk about activation because uh, in, in during our test this is the the, the the field that really attracted me the, the me the most because it is the most innovative element of this game yeah basically um, each player has a cube of a different color. So you have the orange mm -hmm. cube, which is the Russian uh, cube, the, the green one, which is the insurgents or rebels cube. And okay. uh, the player who, uh, whose cube uh, has the most uh, uh, action points, these you can see each box uh, has a different number. The, that's mm -hmm. the amount of action points you currently have. So um, the player who has the most uh, action points is, the, is so called the and uh, is, is the player 
who uh, can perform most of the actions and tests uh, during uh, this phase uh, until okay. expanding action points he goes yes he oh. goes uh, um, beyond beyond the, the, beyond the yeah the player's cube like in this case uh, I'm not I'm no more the uh, active player and uh, I become the reactive player and the green uh, cube uh, which is the insurgent player becomes mm -hmm. the active player and will be able to perform uh, all the actions that okay so it is very dynamic interactive you can make a lot yeah. of small actions maybe to yes. maneuver to move your units before attacking exactly. uh, or just one big action, but after that, the enemy has the initiative, the initiative yeah. switch. This reminds me a lot of that scene in the Black Hawk Down when the American generals say, okay, now the enemy has the initiative. Yeah. And uh, this is just that moment. This is great. This is very, uh, very good at depicting uh, modern warfare with the initiative constantly switching from one side to the to the other the turn ends when both players have uh, ended their action points yeah the the turn ends when alternating along yeah. the track they both uh go beyond the number 40 box okay okay so in this case okay so it is the second turn, turn. Begins, exactly the new turn begins and then we go to and start again Okay, so let's play. Let's play. You are well. You're taking Russians. They're taking the little Russians, and yeah, I'm, I'm taking the Russians, and you're taking. The, okay, uh, okay, and I'm Syria. bravely defending my village from the Russian hordes. Okay, as you can tell by the uh, action track, the Russians have the uh, most action points currently. Okay, forty. So they are the active player. Okay. So I Wait. have. Uh, uh, all these units. Now I try to do something very bold. Uh, mm -hmm. Advance with this okay. vehicle, which is a tank. Okay. okay. Uh, and I see that it is a tank, so I do not see its exact stats, but I see that it is a, a big bad tank. Okay. Exactly, yes. So I'll have to find out what's under this question mark here. And I'll do it the Russian way. This is a vehicle. I'm moving into a clear axis. Clear axis okay. in, uh, in, in the center. Okay. Uh, while all the other kinds of axes have a symbol. So if it's a dot, like this one, a little dot, it's a what we call cover X. Uh, okay. If it's a triangle like these ones. It's, a, oh. it's a, like a mountain X. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so, so there are those small icons on the X that yeah. tell you exactly what kind of X this is. Yeah. Okay. Basically, there are two. One is the cover uh, type of terrain. One is the mm. uh, hill or mountain terrain. And okay. then the one without any any icons in the center is the clear terrain. So it's three well. main main kind. Um, so I'm moving into clear terrain. Uh, Okay. So I go to 39. Okay. And uh, in theory, I could move two axes, spending one B. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, um, uh, but uh, I'll stop at the, in the first axe because okay. I need to see what happens here. Now, okay. uh, I click. Oh, oh, there is nothing. It's, it's okay. a done. It's a done. But uh, I do have uh, a squad uh, nearby here with yeah. uh, uh, who is in Overwatch. Red, but in, yeah, the okay. red cubes, uh, which means that that, that your your unit is in Overwatch. So even though it's not uh, a deactive player, and it's yeah, it, it's the reactive player unit, uh, you can still try and and fire at me if you see me. And in this case, you see me because. The loss okay. is uh, there's no obstacles here because the, okay uh, and and the as you see this is an AT squad yeah. you can see it because this X between us mm -hmm. is uh, is a clear X you see there's no symbol okay 
Okay. Uh, so I I see this tank coming and I say, oh, I am an anti-tank squad, so maybe yes. I can destroy a tank. You can do, yeah, some damage uh, for sure. Um, here you can decide, of course, whether to use one uh, one uh, kind of uh, weapon, the small arms or mm -hmm. the heavy weapons, but since you're attacking a, a tank, you'll be using the heavy weapon. Yeah, well, okay. absolutely. Absolutely, you can bet on that, okay. that I'm using the, 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 the heavy weapon system. This okay. means, the, the heavy one, I spend five action points. Exactly, five action points, and I'm going to... Okay, okay. Your... One, two, three, four, five. So you have a big initiative gap after this action. Yeah, okay. exactly. Uh, the range is six, but it's only two. Um, okay. Two attack, so it's okay. Um, and the card you have to roll is the other uh, one. Okay. So uh, this that's, one. That's the that, that's the base die roll, but there might be some modifiers. Let's see what modifiers we'll have to apply. Okay. The mm -hmm. You're clear. I mean, I'm in clear terrain, so uh, no modifier. But okay. this tank has an intrinsic defense value of four, which means that oh, have... it is a T ninety. Wow! Exactly. So I start with the yellow ties. This one. Okay. Let me unlock it. This one. But since I'm firing at a unit which has a very strong defensive intrinsic defense, I let mm -hmm. shift to the left of four ties. So one, two, three, four. So I'll use okay. the white instead. I mean, you'll use the white instead. Okay. So the white is very, very weak as a mm -hmm. device. Uh, so, uh, roll, let's see what happens. Okay. So I roll the, the white dice. Let's see what happens. Okay. Let's okay. roll. Let's see. Okay. It's an arrow. Uh, the arrow down means that these are. These oh, are let's. Okay, let's look at the table maybe for the combat results. The combat results are uh, basically, I'll show you here on the, on the dice. You can yeah. get this kind of uh, arrow, which means that the unit you fired at is, uh, is uh, suppressed. Oh, um, okay. Or you can get the, uh, the these kind of uh, bullets uh, icons. Uh, mm -hmm. which which means that you actually get a damage a physical damage uh, okay. one one hit or two hits and then you can uh, get the skull means that the unit you're firing at is destroyed um, okay instant elimination okay exactly um so in this case this kind of uh, counter this one in the game, you have physical and psychological uh, damage. Uh, this mm -hmm. kind of damage is uh, psychological. Uh, so okay, have... I scare them. I scare yeah. the, the, a big bag boom on the armor and I scare them. Exactly. So you have this one and this one. Okay, so two different levels. Okay. okay? Uh, and then you have physical damage. Uh, again, mm -hmm. one hit. Okay. Mm. On the upper corner tells you that. Whatever this unit does uh, from now on, uh, you have to shift uh, two columns, oh. two, oh, two columns, two dice to the left. Okay. Okay. It okay. it is a constant shift. It's exactly. a constant shift. Okay. This is a, a level two physical damage. Then you have level one physical damage, which which gives you a one dice shift to the left. Um, okay. okay. But they are suppressed now. Well, we actually call the state um, uh, shaken. Suppress is the second level. Okay. So we see that Carlo, Carlo Madeo has joined us, the other game designer for, <laughs> for the game. Hello, Carlo. Hello, Ricardo. Hello, Paolo. Hi. <laughs> you, you came here just in time to see a, 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 a daring attack by the Russian tank and that has been fired at uh, by the insurgent 80 team. I think that uh, since the 80 squad uh, fired in opportunity, the red cube uh, should be removed. 
the tank crew has to rely first uh, on the shaken status before uh, being able to fire back. You have to rally, yes, you have to rally. To mm. rally, basically, you can uh, either spend APs uh, and mm. uh, um, you can decide how many APs you want to spend. One AP per dice, which means that going back to the dice, uh, I might decide to spend four APs, which means one, two, three, four. I'll use the green dice. Uh, mm -hmm. Of course, the more APs I spend, the more chances I have to rally the unit, okay? But the more expensive okay. it's going to be. Um, otherwise, by the end of the turn, uh, all the units that uh, are have a psychological damage, only psychological, okay. not physical one, they gain one step. Um, so in this case, I'm moving the BMP. The, this BMP is transporting this uh, infantry unit. Okay. So I move one, okay. one X, uh, it's a vehicle, so spending one AP can move uh, through two clear axes. So the first one is this one. At this point, uh, I would still use the Russian <coughs> method of discovering mines. Okay. Bam. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's a mine, so um, in this case I will be using this color, okay? So I'll have to use the uh, purple dice, which is very effective, and see what happens. Um, mm -hmm. I still, I still uh, have my intrinsic defensive value, which is 2. Okay. And uh, the, purple, oops, the purple dice will will become actually a uh, red dice, okay? So I go to uh, okay. uh, shift to, to dice to the left. So one, two, and I use this one, the red, the red one. Um, and I will roll it. Actually, you should roll it, but it's the same. All right, now I got two hits, okay? The uh, unit that is being transported by the vehicle doesn't get any damage unless the vehicle is destroyed. The okay. If it's destroyed, then the infantry unit uh, gets eliminated as well. Uh, this will, uh, you already spent your yes. second action point exactly. and now you're going exactly. for the third. Yeah. I might call in uh, some uh, sniper. Mm hmm. Support. Now, cyber are, cybers are uh, off map um, units, assets. Okay. assets. Uh, they have an infinite range, as you can tell by, by the symbol here. Uh, in this case, this sniper uses a gray dice um, mm -hmm. and it costs three uh, APs. Okay. So you spend three APs yeah. on the activation it's, track. Exactly. So I'm using the gray dice. Okay. Even though uh, this unit is in cover, but we said that with snipers you don't count any modifiers. Okay. So I'll roll the dice. Uh, nothing. But nothing. Yes. Nothing happens. Okay. I've used my my off map asset, my sniper, and I put it in the same box where my counter currently is. So okay. Here. And so, so, so you have to, to, to wait an entire turn be before using it, it exactly. once again. Exactly. When my cube will be again in this box, in number 35 box, I will be able to use, uh, from then on, I will be able to use once this asset, this uh, snap. Okay. I would say uh, let's keep going on. With uh, the, with uh, the tank, just to show you that you can actually move one unit, then move another one, then go back to the first unit and move okay. it again. Or fire. So, you, so, so you spend another action point? Yes, I spend another action point, and I want to see what's <laughs> under this counter. Uh, so I spend one action point, I can move. Uh, this action. was the, the, the shaken unit, yes. so that it can, it can move. Move, but not fire, yes. Okay. So move it here. 
Okay. I'll uh, spell the action point for you so that we can keep track. Yes. Starting with 34. And now let's okay. see what's under this. Ooh, another mine. Another mine. Another mine. So I, I'll use my uh, uh, purple. Uh, minus four. Minus four is the green one. Hmm. Not bad. Uh, it's again two hits, two physical hits. So, as you can tell, mines can be very, very effective. If I'm not wrong, uh, when you suffer a heavy damage, uh, you disrupt even the morale. I'm not sure, uh, but you might. Add uh, one morale damage, psychological damage. Uh, when you get two uh, two hits, uh, it was an idea of uh, recovering yourself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I remember. That. Yeah, I remember that because uh, you remember you're getting recovery. damage and damage and damage and damage. Uh, so this is still open to play testing, but I like it because it gives you another layer of so in this case of psychological. In this case, the second counter would to be this kind okay. of counter. Surprise. Yeah. Uh, all right. Um, this translates as this is a very bad day for that tank crew. Yeah, it's yeah. Also a bad day. I can already imagine it on CNN from yeah. uh, some sort of a drone. Yeah. Uh, with turret, turret exploding, you know, in the air. Yeah. Yeah. At this point, let's move the other BMP, uh, this one. I cannot shoot you anymore with this unit because no. I already fired it. Okay, okay. I lost so my... One AP because I moved okay. through two clear access with a with vehicle. Uh, and then at this point, I would... Mm -hmm. Okay, I would shoot from this BMP. Uh, okay. Shoot your unit here, which is in, is cover. in cover. Is in cover because you can see the dot. They were not in the center. And also has an inherent uh, dice shift yeah. for defense. So I would go for the uh, for the heavy weapons. So I okay. would pay six APs. Oh, and this puts me. Back into initiative and in, in the next One, impulse. Exactly. Two, three, mm -hmm. four, five, and six. Okay. I don't now, remember if I already told you, but I think that I already told you many times that I love this system, this okay. initiative system. <laughs> okay. Uh, so uh, I will uh, shoot at the unit, and then when I finished, okay. it will be your, your turn. Okay. Active player, and you'll be able to perform all the actions and tests you want. To. Mm -hmm. um, so, so uh, essentially, if this eighty squad survives, it will have a very good target. Yeah. Yeah. So I I should use the red uh, dice. Okay. Cards, but I have some modifier. one modifier is for the terrain for the cover, okay. uh, which is uh, minus one dice to the left, but mm -hmm. I also have. One minus uh, uh, dies to the right because of the intrinsic defensive value of the unit. So I I use the red one, okay? Because I shift uh, one to the left, one to the right, uh, and okay, so, so it's the, the right one. one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, Ow! Two hits. Two hits. Okay. Two physical hits. So. Need another physical hit counter. There you go. In this case, um, I will have to add one psychological uh, yeah. counter, one level, which is shaken. Exactly. Shaken, exactly. Okay. Okay. Oh, so if this unit now is in quite a bad uh, state. Mm -hmm. 
um, and mm -hmm. it's your turn. It's your turn. Okay, so the only thing that I can do with this technical maybe is continue shooting to this tank, yeah. uh, convincing the crew to to abandon it essentially. Absolutely, because you're on 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 the verge to to make them to give up essentially because you're yeah. you're already suppressed. It just a matter of a single psychological damage and the unit is destroyed anyway because they abandoned their tank. Okay, let's they... say that my technical uses uh, it's not. Well, let's go that for the big. It's a nice one. Yeah, there's a maybe there's a, a an auto cannon, a twenty millimeter cannon, whatever it is. It is good, and so I think I will use uh, my six points. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, giving you back your initiative against this tank. Uh, I use the red dice, the red die, and but you still have your intrinsic defense of four. Yep. So it is very intuitive this system. So red becomes one, two, three, four, pink die. Yeah. It could be enough. It could be enough. Uh, as always, you should unlock it. Yeah. Okay. And let's see what I can do with this nice pink tie. Yes. 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 So the crew essentially abandons the vehicle. Yeah. Okay. And so the vehicle is eliminated. Yes. Okay. From, probably from a John Deere. Uh, tractor. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> yes, probably, <laughs> possibly, possibly. Okay, yeah. I think this is this is enough for our viewers to see the, the the flow of the game, the many opportunities. But of course, there are lots uh, lots of other actions. Units can rally. They can use special tests uh, like recon like uh, other stuff this is just one of the proposed scenarios and as we said with paolo before this is more a sandbox game so you can create your own scenarios and after that the russians can call maybe their their airplanes in support but i have my sam units here in uh, uh, we know so you see it is very uh, interactive it is const constantly interactive a very nice, very, very interesting system. I'm very happy, and I thank you for having given me the opportunity to uh, to try it uh, and also to make my small contributions to the to the play test. Uh, one, um, one thing I would, yeah, I would like to yeah. say, really say is that this module, TDS module, would be available yeah. also for all those who, uh, who uh, took part in the Kickstarter. Oh, so, so, so the module is included in the campaign, yeah. is it? Yes. Oh, great, great. So you like, also with Wing, Winged Victory, you made the same, if I remember. Yeah, yeah, if I recall. Yes. yeah. And it's very nice, so you, can, you will be able to play it remotely or even when you are trying it solo, so that you don't have to set up all the, all the map. Um, this is very nice. Yes. Also, guys, I love the interactive action system, uh, the initiative system, I said, but also I love the interface, which is one of the most intuitive interfaces I've ever seen in a war game. Because uh, after a couple of turns, you, you, you immediately know uh, what, which you, what each unit can do ranges, action point, costs, etc. So, uh, just to close it up, one last word from you for our viewers uh, to, to, to convince them to, to get into this campaign. Paolo, oh, Carlo, Carlo. Carlo was the editor. Well, I, I really believe, uh, uh, aside, we actually are publishing this game. Uh, the idea is just great. It's simple, uh, it's gorgeous, good looking, mm -hmm. uh, it's so modern, uh, it's so intense, and there is, there is a lot of value in this, in this game. And uh, actually, uh, if you consider all the armies included and that we are uh, unlocking day in, day out, because we're, mm -hmm. we have something like 25 stretch goals and we are now 
probably around the 17, something like that. Okay. And so Great. we got three campaigns, dynamic campaigns. So what you achieve in uh, one scenario actually changes the campaign. Mm. So okay. you have uh, full replayability. Carries and... over to the next scenario, etc. Yeah.